Say it today. Well, you'll just have to wait to the end of this segment to find out what I am going to say. But over the years, of course, World of Sport, I've very pleased to say I've been with World of Sport for 13 years on the boxing. And during that time, there's been some tremendous champions that have come out of Melbourne. And these champions came out of Melbourne because of what World of Sport had done, because of what uh, TV Ringside had done, because of what Channel 7 had done. And perhaps we'll just go back a little bit to look at the champions that we had right here in Melbourne. The world champions, let's take a look at our first. Lionel Rose. Weaving and caught with the right hand. Comes out of a weave and scores with his own left hook. Left and left to the body by Harada. Right to the body by Harada. Rose is back on the road, swapping punches with the champion. Come on, Lionel. Here's the call from the Australians. Left hand jab by Rose as Lionel does come on. Right to the body now by Rose. Jab by Harada. A lead by Harada. Left hook by Rose now. Jab by Rose again and Harada missing with his right hand. Trying desperately to catch Rose with one of those hard right hand swings. Short right to the head by Rose. Rose misses with a left hook but he's back very quickly with a left hand jab. Left and right to the body by Rose. And once again, as the bell goes for the end of the world championship, the great athletes embrace each other. They go to the corner to wait for the decision. Morita, the other judge, scored at 72-70. And how did it feel when you got that? Uh, when you got the nod? It's definitely Tamisha on top now in the last half minute. Less than 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds. There's the bell, what a title fight it was, what a title fight, and Famijan, Famijan, Famijan has won the World Featherweight Championship. And the crowd roaring for Matty Ali now to come. pretty tired too. I think Lister's is playing it careful now. Just seeing out the round and 10 seconds to go. championship contest this has been it's amazing 25 Harry seconds Michael. to go this is with a big right hand and uh, the Let's champion go. has lost Let's his go. mouth guard Let's it went flying down. across the ring break, break. was it his mouth guard or was it something else something went beautiful flying, punches now he comes hands. back with a couple of good punches good combination by Let's go. <laughs> pardon me approaching the end of the contest break, 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 the end break, break. of this ibf break. world junior lightweight title fight there's the bell it's all over Boxing 66 was highlighted by a visit to World of Sport and TV ringside by ex-world heavyweight champion Rocky Marziano. Course, Asked for his opinion of Clay, Marziano said... As a heavyweight fighter, I don't really know how good he is. He has never been a hit on the chin with a good punch. Well, there it is, of course, some of the champions that came out of World of Sport, out of Channel 7, out of TV ringside, and of course the last picture we had there Rocky Marciano one of the real great champions talking to our champion Ron Casey and what he did say of course he never got hit on the chin real well well world of sports been hit on the chin a bit but next Sunday channel 7 more boxing on sports world <laughs>